Good morning. It is Saturday, February 3rd, 2024, and it is 649 in my locale. A little dark in here, but, you know, I don't want to open the windows, even though the sun is coming up. I see it peeking around. Uh, it's 63 degrees right now, and the humidity is about 60%. It's been kind of humid here. Weather has been seasonable, 75, 80 degrees. No different than it was last year. So anybody who wants to start saying the big, shut up. All right, so let's go forward and say, let's look at our daily Zen poem. Some people, not knowing the essential emptiness of good and evil, think practical cultivation of mind means to sit rigidly immobile, subduing mind and body like a rock placed upon grass. And this is ludicrous. That is why it is said that followers cut off confusion in every state of mind, Yet the mind does the cutting off is a brigand. Chinul 1158 1210. This is one of those poems that they talk about the mind uh, who can be your friend and can be your enemy. Okay. You can't just sit there and meditate all day. Uh, one of the most famous phrases attributed to Buddha was before enlightenment, haul water and chop wood. And after enlightenment, haul water and chop wood. You have to do something. There has to be a time for you to meditate, to keep your mind calm. And then there has to be a time where you are working and you are meditating through your work, where you keep your mind calm. Uh, just so you know, we are not going to have a quiet moment of Bodhi. It, again, it is 63 degrees. And I have found that this dog is a dog that was born and bred in Florida. So if it goes under 70 degrees, this animal pulls himself towards me under blankets, you name it. Where I'm at 63 degrees and I'm like, is a shirt necessary? For some reason, no matter what's going on in my system, my body won't acclimate. It won't go, oh, it's too cold now. It, my body's just going, this is normal. This is home. This is whatever it happens to be. When it starts going above 80, I start going, it's hot. Uh, this could be my own personal biology. This could be who knows what. Uh, all I know is that when I, you know, I am going to wear, you know, a zippy to work. And the most important thing is because I'm in front of the wind a lot. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff blowing around, pollen and other things that can blow right into my face. And that can have a negative effect on you as well. We're going to go for our daily uh, rune pull, so hang on. All right, we pulled that one. I believe that is Ansu's, but it is inverted. So let's take a look together in the big book. It is Ansu's and it is inverted. Let's pull 90. Ansu's signals messenger rune, the god Loki. You may well be concerned over what appears to be failed communication, a lack of clarity or awareness, either in your past history or in a present situation. You may feel inhibited but from accepting what is offered, and a sense of futility or of wasted motion may overwhelm you. Remember, however, that what is happening is timely in your process. If the well is clogged, it is the moment to clean out the old. Consider the uses of adversity. Uh, that has some uh, meaning for me. I don't know what the meaning is for you. You have to determine that. For me here uh, at the job site, uh, there's a lot of changes going on. People coming, people going. And so that is an adversity because it means that the status quo, whether it be status quo or garbage festival, is going to change and how we're going to deal with those types of changes in our personal life or our professional life or our, in this particular case, thing I'm doing, means that we have to be aware of these things. And that's important. 
you know, we don't want to collapse ourselves into highs, lows, get negative. The worst thing, gossip, uh, backbiting, talking behind others' backs. These are the things that other people do. And they are, as far as I'm concerned, primarily useless. You know, I deal with each person as I deal with them individually. And they all have their own strengths and weaknesses, just like I do. And if I am, un, you know, if for some reason there's something I don't like about somebody, I always ask myself the same question. Okay, you don't like them. Uh, there's something about that situation you're not happy with. But let's ask the right question. How can they benefit me on my goal? You don't have to like the look of a tool. But does it work? And can it work to your, you know, your designs, your advantage, your whatever? So that's an important thing to, to ask yourself. How can the person or the situation or the thing in front of me move my goals forward? That is an extremely important question to ask yourself. Because if you don't move your goals forward, hey, mom, nobody else will. Nobody else will. So today's plans are work. Uh, the reason we're doing the, the this video a day late is because my schedule changed. Yay. Perfectly fine. I have no arguments about this at all. I did put myself up forward and say, hey, if you need me to change something, that's fine. So I'm going to be working due to our short staff situation. I'm going to be working, uh, let's see, today is Saturday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I usually get Mondays, Tuesdays off. This week it's going to be Tuesdays, Wednesday off. And that's fine. They just need me there to take care of something. And I'm okay to do that. That's perfectly okay. Uh, today I have a, uh, a boat to take care of. Fortunately, I don't have anybody coming in, going out. Yeah, so it gives me a lot more time to work, you know, in our, uh, our booth area to, you know, get people on boats, get people with their kayaks, get people with their whatever. Good experience because it means that the faster I can move, the faster I can use their systems and the faster I can use their systems, the faster I can move. They're also going to leave me alone for a long period of time to take care of something, which is fine. They keep saying to me, take somebody with you until I, I looked in. It, it's a houseboat. It needs some help. And I looked at it and I went, I think I got this. I'll go back this morning and take a look again and go, do I really need some help? And if I do, I'll get it. Uh, I'll grab somebody who can be an extra pair of hands. If not, uh, I guess I put on a podcast and I just get started and if that absorbs my day, then that absorbs my day. Um, I'm okay with this. And if it ends my day early, I'm okay with that too. You know, I've been pushing a little bit of overtime. And I know that the company I work for is trying to cost contain. Because God forbid they should pay you to do work after hours that needs to be done. Uh, they want three of you for the same price. And the answer is, mm, no, you can't have that. So, no complaints, no arguments. It's just the way of the world as it stands today. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to keep Bodhi covered in his blanket right here. He's tired. And I'm going to get up and start cleaning coffee pots and get showers and do all of this. So, again, a short video, a happy video. I'll see many of you at Jack's tonight. Like I said, my phone is on. From the minute you see me say the word present, my phone is on. You want to talk? There I am. You don't want to talk? That's okay, too. Uh, about 6.15, if we don't hear anything, you know, we'll let the other moderators do their job. And I can slide quietly out and keep working on my own stuff. So, let's end it the right way. If you don't help yourself, nobody else will. Thank you, Mom. Are they like-minded? Do they share your values? Do they have something to offer? Um or no? Out you go. It's too late.
You wanted it this way, now you got it. No tears, no crying, and no tantrums. Also, so you know, uh, it's getting a little close to that line, as I'm looking over in the other corner over here. It's getting close to the line to what I call the 768. And the 768 means that I have not seen her face in two years. It means I also haven't heard from her in slightly less than that. Uh, That's kind of hard. I don't know if her insanity continues, or I've been replaced, I hope not, or she's coming back to her senses, or she's so absorbed with her kids' nonsense that I, I don't know. I don't know. Health-wise, I did forget to tell you, uh, my shoulder is a little bit better. Uh, it's an everyday thing. I try to baby it a little bit. Figuring that every day I don't push it is another day that it heals. And the other stuff is coming along. It's coming along. My appetite is returned, which is good and bad. Appetite returning is good, but it's bad because the food that I'm screaming for, my body is yelling for, I can't get. And that can be its own little problem. I also have to make sure I change my hat. Um... I'm starting to get red here, right? Yeah, my hands are starting to hurt. And I know that that is part of the medication I'm on. And I better start taking better precautions for the sun. Because I know one of those medications definitely says stay out of the sun. Okay, so I've got to start taking care of that. But from Bodhi, who is quietly asleep right now, and myself, uh, please have a good Saturday. Please do something effective. Please do something to move your own ball forward. If somebody wants you to move their ball forward, tell them to kick their own ball. It's not your ball to kick. Do your thing. Move your ball forward. Take care of those around you, your tribe. Because at this point, from all the things I see every time I put my periscope up, if you don't take care of you and you don't take care of your tribe, they're not going to take care of you either. So make good community relationships make good plans make good everything and more importantly than anything else anybody anything that looks at you from the outside in you give them a side eye because if you think you can trust anything coming toward you at this point well you got another thing coming if you assume ill intent before you assume good intent, you will probably be right more than wrong. You will be a pessimist. You will also be a realist. I want you guys who are listening to this to be realists. Don't be pathologically altruistic. That's what she is. And don't be negative because you're going to close yourself off to opportunities that may advance you and your tribe to thrive. Be realistic. And be realistic with everybody you see today. There's always something that the person in front of you can offer. Even if it is, like me, um, a good negative example. Have fun, guys. And hopefully uh, we'll get that call from her very soon, right? Thanks. Bodhi's sleeping.